One out of seven Americans has nasal symptoms as a result of seasonal allergies. Coming up, we'll have new guidelines issues to give allergy sufferers ages 12 and older direction on how to best manage the systems of allergic rhinitis. We've heard from so many of you, our Today's Health and Wellness podcast listeners, that you're having a difficult time leaving a rating and review for the podcast in iTunes. So here's an easy way to do it. Go to www.pleasereviewmypodcast.com backslash today's health for an easy step-by-step tutorial to follow. That's pleasereviewmypodcast.com backslash today's health. Reviewing and rating our podcast in iTunes helps us in so many ways. But most importantly, we get your feedback on what you like about the podcast. Thanks for being a listener and a subscriber and going to pleasereviewmypodcast.com backslash today's health. Cleveland Clinic's David Lang, MD, was a co-author on this study, which looked at which approaches to treatment were most effective. Researchers looked at whether doctors should prescribe an intranasal steroid or steroid nasal spray, or a combination of steroid nasal spray with an oral antihistamine medication. The research showed that using a steroid nasal spray alone was the best option based on the evidence. For someone with moderate to severe symptoms, the new guidelines showed that combining a nasal steroid spray along with an intranasal antihistamine was more effective than a nasal steroid spray alone. Is it best for initial treatment to take an intranasal steroid alone or an intranasal steroid combined with a non-sedating antihistamine? And the evidence indicates that an intranasal steroid alone is the best option. Dr. Lang pointed out that using the intranasal antihistamine sometimes causes an unpleasant taste or can sometimes make people sleepy, so it should be used with caution. The good news is that there are effective treatments for seasonal allergy symptoms, so people don't have to suffer needlessly. If you have symptoms, uh, an intranasal steroid over-the-counter alone can be very effective for you. Steroid nasal sprays are safe and widely used. The only side effect to be aware of, Dr. Lang said, is if a person starts to experience nosebleeds, they should stop using the spray and consult the doctor. Complete results of the study from the Annals of Internal Medicine can be found in our podcast show notes. Circle270media.com